thing, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should've left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should've just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Skinny's no good for you, Darla. You put a bullet in him, I just might let you go. What kind of girl do you think I am? Kill him, Skinny! Oh. Hey, Valentine. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me, Doc? I have my way. Really? Now, you mentioned... I want you to come... I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help, 
from any nearby Minutemen. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. I'm not interested in your life story. Just hear me out. This is important. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Your group came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturgis, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. That means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen, and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. So, if I'm a general, where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. But I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back the now it's you. Uh -huh. A settlement has asked for our Right. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We've got I've heard that folks at Finch Farm need some help. The Minutemen should be the ones that answer that call. <laughs> 